morning. Why don't we uh, why don't we make an effort to uh, get started, ladies and gentlemen? Good morning. It's not necessarily how you count. We might need more count. Supervisor Bramer and Supervisor Melino. Yes. Why don't we call our meeting to order uh, uh, this morning of our local development corporation? Is it, is it on? It, it is on, apparently. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, no. no. The, uh, can we get a motion to approve the, the minutes of our January 24th, 2019 regular board meeting, please? Uh, Supervisor Merlino, seconded by Supervisor Leggett. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any discussion? No discussion. Uh, matters relating to the review and approval of the January 2020 financial statements. Ed. Yes, you have a uh, copy in uh, front of you. just so that there's no uh, question that the uh, contract that we have in EDC with the LDC, uh, that is not where the $10,000 is coming from uh, to, to go to the, uh, for our affordable housing. That is coming from the EDC budget uh, it, itself. We're, we're not uh, just, so there's clarification. Uh, and I wanted to mention uh, that there. So that's, that, that's $10,000. The affordable housing study we're anticipating, uh, Patricia, uh, 15, what would you think? Uh, the, the price of it? Yes. Well, we're, we're allocating 10 from, uh, okay. anticipating 10 from uh, uh, LDC, 10 from EDC, and okay. hopefully we'll fill that gap. Okay. All right. And certainly we budget a little bit uh, more. I know I'm not supposed to say that, but we have budget a little bit more in order to do any addendums that may come up after we see the initial report that we would want to do, uh, particularly if the state looks at that. And that's why Patricia has a good relationship with HCR, so that we're hitting all of the uh, key components, uh, aspects of what needs to be in that RFP for the, the consultant to do uh, with that. So uh, as I indicated, there's not uh, any uh, changes uh, in our uh, financial report this year. Can I get a motion to, uh, uh, Matt uh, gives us the motion, seconded by Supervisor Leggett. Uh, any further discussion on the, go ahead. I just Craig. noticed that revenues on interest are above budget. Yes, they are. So is that the annualized or, or is are we expecting some payoffs? This well, again, again, uh, it probably will drop just a little bit because we're at, we're kind of at a higher amount of uh, okay. money that based on the interest rate um, in, in doing that there. So it, it should be stabilizing, not quite. You know, I, I think that we're okay going forward. Thank you. Motion on the floor. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Matter carries. Ed, number three, uh, matters relating to a review of uh, the loan portfolio. Yes, I want to say uh, I will be asking for a brief executive session relating to one matter, but I wanted to, uh, for the uh, record, uh, metal, metals, uh, which was the subject of our February 4th uh, uh, special meeting, uh, they will be closing uh, this Friday. Um, the current balance of the loan is 109000 $14.88. They will be making a payment uh, Friday, and uh, Mr. Tuoliger will be at that uh, closing and will be sitting right there to uh, take that check for $10,000 and writing immediately to uh, the bank and deposit that. So that will reduce the balance down to $99,000 and some change. Uh, they, beginning uh, this month, will be paying uh, on the $99,000 principal and interest at 4% uh, 
there's no change there. You may recall we gave a six-month grace period for interest-only uh, uh, payments. Um, as part of this uh, final agreement, um, we also, uh, in addition, so we released the one piece of property that was sold. We have uh, the other two pieces of property uh, in Thurman that uh, remain under our lien. Uh, and we also are putting on a second mortgage on the property at Hitching Post. Well, right now, uh, it's, it, it's pretty well, uh, equity uh, is very slim. Uh, that doesn't <coughs> permit us uh, from going, going down the road that there will be equity that will be developed in that value of that piece of uh, property. So um, our, our approach is, is that the more uh, various um, links and uh, protection that the LBC can give, uh, we will do that. So that the second mortgage will be uh, implemented on that uh, piece of property when they acquire the hitching post. The other loans I just want to mention, the Adirondack Sports Dome, which that loan was taken out in the year 2006 at $300,000, has now been paid off in full. Um, in fact, they paid more. They paid $812 more, uh, and therefore there is a, a rebate check going back to them for $812. Uh, um, this was a loan back in 2006 that was at the 3%. And uh, most of you recall that they uh, undertook a catastrophe with the uh, snow load uh, that was inadequately designed and admitted by the architect, but unfortunately the statute of limitation prevented uh, any successful recovery of that. Um, they lost uh, two seasons, uh, and that really put them behind. Uh, your, your members here, uh, Mr. Chair, um, you know, provided an opportunity to stretch out this uh, loan and uh, Doug and his uh, wife have done a tremendous job in making full payment of $300,000 uh, back uh, on this. They, the last couple of years, they've been making full principal and interest, which they caught up, and uh, that has been uh, completed. Um, another uh, loan, Celtic uh, Treasure, which was a much smaller loan at $9,400, uh, has been uh, paid off uh, as, as well uh, in, in terms of, of payment out. Uh, I mentioned last month and we're just waiting uh, for uh, an opportunity for uh, Mr. Terwilliker to uh, meet with uh, the former county attorney uh, with Stonecast is our next uh, challenge uh, on, the, uh, on, on the issue to get a uh, readout and handle on that particular uh, project. Uh, are there any questions relative to that? Uh, yeah. Supervisor Leggett. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ed, that's great news on the Adirondack Sports Complex when we came on here. I know it was tough um, nip and tuck on, on what they were going to do, and, and they, we really took a risk on them and it paid off. And it's, it's good to see. And I, and I know that of, of, uh, from all of the various reports I've seen on Octax, uh, by the various uh, organizations, they tend to be very thorough right in outlining in exactly. In the chart he showed me at his uh, office of, the, of all of the X's of where each person is staying uh, is, is just uh, you know wonderful. Um, and uh, it, it's still hopeful that uh, we now can uh, continue to do some work with them uh, in, in potentially other projects at that, uh, at that site. Yeah, uh, just to expand on that a little bit more, you think about the economic development that that provides this recreational opportunity, you know, for, for the area, what they host and, and they bring in, and it just you know, gives us that asset in the community. The majority of the teams uh, and, and groups that come in, whether it's girls uh, volleyball or whatever, uh, the softball tournaments uh, that are held there are generally from outside the area that require one night or two nights of uh, stay uh, in, in hotels, you know, through our area, and even if they're not staying there, they're going to be uh, looking for uh, a restaurant. Uh, so uh, they did a, a, a tremendous uh, job in, in uh, again, the cooperation of the LBC and the county uh, helped them, and that's really uh, part of our mission here is, is to be uh, helpful where we can, and um, we 
take uh, we're charged with taking a little bit more risk than, than a, a bank uh, with our monies, but again, uh, not in a uh, willy-nilly fashion, but to ensure that there is due diligence undertaken by the uh, LBC. Supervisor Dreskel, did you have a Thank question? You, Mr. Chairman, yeah, I, I just wanted to mention I'm in that facility uh, almost on a weekly basis, and uh, I think that the success uh, that the Millers have uh, enjoyed is, is because they've thought outside the box and they've, they've kind of looked at, uh, at what is popular and uh, they've gone after a lot of different types of events uh, that I'm certain that their 2006 work plan uh, didn't really have. Good. I, I think Ed, uh, you know, thank you for your efforts on on, on the, the goat cheese people. I mean, that's uh, and Supervisor uh, Merlino. You know, the, we uh, it, it's a, it, it's a good ending, and uh, you know, we uh, some good people worked hard on it, and it's uh, it's. Uh, it, was a, it was a team effort, and thank you for your time and uh, yeah. the uh, advocacy and persistency of uh, Supervisor Merlino. <laughs> Very good. Well, we, we thank you for that. Ed, did you uh, have any? I, I do have an executive, uh, one executive matter uh, pertaining to the uh, loan uh, of uh, the Barking uh, Spider and uh, Tim McGraw and the financial credit history of uh, Mr. McGraw. Um, could that, we get a motion to, to that effect, please, to go into executive session to uh, talk about the credit history, yes. credit history of uh, Mr. McGraw. Supervisor Simpson, seconded by Supervisor Merlino. Yes, All those in favor? All right. Aye. We are in executive session. Okay, so on the, uh, you may recall at our parking spike. Just gonna wait for Lehman, but uh, I guess we uh, we are out of executive session. Uh, did uh, Ed? We have make a we make a mo is a motion. Uh, we did take some action in executive session, and uh, Ed. Oh, we uh, didn't take action. Did take action. Okay, we. Uh, We're going to do the. the we, we had a discussion on this. Correct. Okay. Uh, okay. And that we will not take action officially uh, with a resolution. Right. I would ask uh, the consideration of a resolution to modify the loan agreement by the Warren County LDC and the Barking uh, Spider, uh, Tim. Draw uh, to modify the uh, loan with a uh, balance of a current balance of five thousand eight hundred and sixteen dollars and five percent pay the LDC on a monthly basis four percent the original interest rate uh, until the uh, loan is completed uh, by uh, Tim McGraw Barton uh, Spider. Motion made by Supervisor Simpson, second by Supervisor Merlino. Any discussion? I just would ask counsel, uh, is there anything else, Bob, that uh, I admitted in that resolution? No, I think that's it. Ed. I'll draft up something reflecting those terms for us. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you, Counselor. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mm, it is carried. Uh, any further issues, Ed, as far as you're concerned? Uh, Not at this time. Very good. Thank you very much. Wait an hour and it will be. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a motion to adjourn? Uh, Supervisor Simpson, second by Supervisor Leggett. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.